For years now, every Wales outing from opening a well-intentioned potting shed to a state dinner has had a social media treatment. These work-related updates intersperse with plenty of heartwarming pics that drive the happy normal family line home with all the subtly of solid gold partridge fork to the eye. But over the coronation weekend, something shifted. Did we just witness another one? No normal edited on an iPhone video, mind you, but a high screen, high gloss, exquisitely professional trailer full of behind the scenes moments that had all the pacing, build up, and atmosphere of Michael Bay trailers. In the week since, it has been viewed more than 21 million times. The following day, out came a similarly slick video of William practicing his speech for the coronation concert. Then, that night after it was over, Kensington Palace again had produced another video that framed the whole event as being the big, wonderful Wales show. On Monday, the final day of the coronation activities, La Famille Wales, including their three kids, joined the big help out, and we got, wouldn't you know, another video, this time with them helping doing something to Scout Hall. More importantly, together these videos have been viewed more than 67 million times across Twitter and Instagram, and the Wales social media campaign over the coronation has thoroughly troused that of Buckingham Palace, leaving them totally and utterly dust. Meanwhile, aside from a few shots of His Majesty doing some waving at Buckingham Palace balcony, he is entirely missing from the Wales' cinematic universe. It's impressive that William and Kate are built up and the star is polished and energetically as possible given they are the monarchy's one great hope. What these coronation videos also suggest is that William and Kate are not content to patiently wait and play docile understudies for the next couple of decades, but are looking to build up their own power base. The princess debuted at the event in her full royal regalia sporting red, blue, and white royal Victorian order robes. Royal writer Daniel Elser has said her dazzling appearance meant that she accidentally usurped her father-in-law on his big day. But, she said, their impressive performance has put Kate on some thin ice with the rest of the firm. Miss Elser said that the Wales matriarch looked like a queen in her decadent regalia. She described her entry into Westminster Abbey as a stunning bit of fashion theater, adding that she looked like an ancient Greek goddess. She also helped praise on the prince and princess, saying that the prince and most especially the princess smashed their roles out of the park. During the coronation concert, this was the first time since she had signed on to the royal roster, Kate has appeared alongside the sovereign wearing trousers. Instead, for Sunday's night outing, the 41-year-old rolled up looking like a successful CEO, about to negotiate a quick takeover deal before working lunch with Brussels in a $4,700 Alexander McQueen suit. In the word of royalty, where every gesture, twitch, and pocket square is likely gamed out and involves planning on a whiteboard, Kate breaking the habit of her royal lifetime is a deliciously bold and, yes, feminist move. However, even whilst the pants naissance was playing out there was one line Kate never crossed. She never donned trousers for any sort of official outing with her late majesty. The thing about Kate these days isn't the description pretty and ladylike no longer apply, or at least aren't the first ones that spring to mind. Kate these days looked like a powerful and confident, and her turning up in a suit rather than her 4,000th frock is a cause for feminist celebration.